like they did to this black male for 10 years, at least over 10 years. You should have seen this guy. And you should have seen them talking to him. It's just like when they take uh, handcuffs. They do stuff. They shoot these guys dead. That's not right. That's not right. Why are they doing this? Police are pretty hotheads. But what you have to do is you have to find something to um, process the spiritual infraction. Just getting a phone call from them is like, ugh. You know? Y you, feel, you feel sick. You feel sick to your stomach. Now, I'm supposed to go into a lecture. I'm supposed to have... Listen, I was asked to sit um, to be the president of uh, something. I can't remember. Well, I do remember, but I don't want to say. It's pretty funny, actually. And uh, I said, no, nope, I'm not going to do it. You know why? Because I want to make the process democratic. So, you know what? Get everyone involved and let everybody apply for the position. Right? And uh, basically, it's just I represent um, a form of uh, academia uh, for a specific faculty. And um, I thought that was pretty nice to offer that, but I said to myself, no, I put my principles into practice because how can I actually be in the lecture and talk about stuff that I, I say people should do and critique and think about and not practice that myself? Intellectual discourse is a type of exercise. It's a type of, um, it's an ability to use your, uh, your mind and your creativity. And um, like I said, I don't smoke weed. Uh, if you could actually cut the human body, and uh, what's really sick is even to talk about things like that because when you actually see where they got the bodies from, there's a guy actually um, in Dundas Street. He has this really cool place and has all these vintage things. And he had this scroll from like 19, I think 17. And it was a scroll of a body. And I looked at the body and it was painted, I think, as a female. But I looked at the hands and I said, those look like male hands, right? And then I looked at like the whole vein structure. And I said to myself, I'd like one of those in my office to actually look at it and say, how do you actually deal with contamination to the nervous system? For example, what happened to the indigenous uh, with Minamata disease? And um, explore that. Racial profiling even got in the way of that. So I'm going to phone back this uh, chick, Sheila, and uh, from the chief's office, the chief of police office, Sheila Richardson, Sergeant Sheila Richardson, who says that she's from the police office and she works in a she worked in the corrupt um, precinct. And I'm crossing the street right now. You're going to say to her, you know what, thanks for your suggestion, but you know what, this is a board issue. And we're going to start with the board first. Thanks. And then that's it. You know? It's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. You know? This is something that you should see. Like, I don't know if the National Film Board of Canada has uh, a station where people can just turn it on and they can just watch documentaries. And, um you know, listen to people's stories about different things and, um, you know, just find a way to actually get it out there. And, uh, you know, how many people actually um, say, you know what, something's wrong there. Something is really, really wrong. I phoned the uh, National Film Board and it's, they're all like connected, right? So. It gets tiring because I should be able to just get into my drop top and you know what, just drive, just drive and you know, watch the moon and uh, go by the river or the ocean and um, just bring myself back to a sense of balance. I don't have that. I don't even have like my ability to uh, attend my, um, what do you call it, my practices. I don't even have that. My coach is actually going to be at uh, there's, um, the world's um, in uh, frigate, the Atlantic, Atlantic Canada, they're going to have they're going to have the world's, and I was like, oh my God, you know, and you know what? I passed my fitness test, and said, you know what? You're in really good shape, but 
I decided to do something that I've never done before. And, uh, you know, I want to try, um, for example, 400 meters. I've never run a 400 meter before. And um, I want to try it. And uh, training, it's not bad, but it's just that my coach has no idea that I'm dealing with he has no idea that I actually had my hands all torn up like this. He has no idea that I'm actually working on my uh, doctorate and my discourses. And uh, you know what? The name of the club is called Jamaica Masters. Excellent, excellent club. You know what they do? They pursue health through sport. And I thought, this is just fantastic. Because when you're dealing with some of this stuff, it's like you need some kind of outlet, right? The outlet is not synthetics, like they said to this black male. So, um, it's not serums, like they did to this black female. They actually injected her in her arm. She bled through her, her uh, vagina and her, her backside for two months. She's got problems with her kidneys, but she's going to be okay. You know, she's going to be okay. I'm still in touch with her and stuff. Um, I know her phone is disconnected but it's probably because she doesn't have any money to pay for her cell phone. Like, this is how they make you suffer in Ontario. And this bitch that's calling me, you know what, I'm just going to delete the fucking... I'm just going to delete the, uh, the message. I don't even want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. In the chief's office. Who the fuck is the chief? There's a guy named Michael Federico. He should be the next police chief. But you know what? I don't know how it's going to line of work. That stuff, they need to work. They really need to work. When you deal with racial profiling, you take them to the fucking cleaners, let me tell you. You don't smile with them. You just go your way. Take them to the fucking cleaners. I'm going to see if I can actually get some uh, camera footage to film the Attorney General's um, version. The Liberal Attorney general version of justice. You go into this fucking transaction center, they don't even have a menu to tell you where anything is. It's a piece of shit place. People are all getting paid there. Why don't people want to see proper talk about this shit? He needs to know. Because when he goes internationally, and he's in like these um, meetings and stuff, you don't know if Al-Qaeda or who... The Al-Qaeda is the fucking police that can do shit like this. So you know what? Blow them the fuck away. That's terrorism. You know, to you little ones where... I shouldn't say little ones, but... You know, it's like I hear from a lot of young black males and stuff. I hear some of their stories and I'm like, you know what, you guys? I totally understand now. They really fucked you guys up. So us that know better, we have to take some leadership. And you know what? Some of us have known and haven't done anything. Why? Just know that some of us do care. Hi. Yeah. Just know that some of us do care. <laughs>